Hello once again. Now I'm back with uh, part two of my job lot of Amiga stuff to A500 plus period setup. Um, part one covered uh, opening up the new stash which had a couple of Amigas, a C64 monitor and a whole bunch of accessories and uh, discs. Uh, so check that out if you like loft find unboxing. Um, this video is going to cover uh, testing out those those bits and pieces, um, seeing if they blow up or not. And um, as you can see behind me, at least some of the stuff survived. This is the uh, I got this in that bundle, the A500 Plus, and there's a uh, hard disk and RAM add-on there. Um, I've also been told I need to pull dumb faces for YouTube thumbnails, so maybe I'll include that at the end. If it's not too embarrassing, or maybe if it is too embarrassing, we'll see which sells better. Uh, so, here we go. Okay, so scariest item first, the monitor. This is the one that's got the biggest potential to have a good bang. Uh, I'm going to try and be as far away from it as possible. And it's already in the on position. Oh my goodness, I can hear the static from here. But it's on, power light's on, power light looks cool actually. Okay. Let's check out the Amigas. Well just before I plug it in I thought I'd check out if there was anything in the trapdoor slot. And uh, there is, there's a little RAM expansion. Let's have a look where that is. So I had a quick look. Looks like it's a 512k expansion to uh, give it 1 meg, presumably. And it says uh, Amram X ISS3. Okay, this thing, <laughs> this A500 is in kind of rough shape, so I'm going to try it without connecting it to the monitor first. Let's see. Ooh, power light, no smoke. Okay. Oh, and the disk drive is alive. Right, let's try the video out. Okay, so here's the uh, kind of smashed up Amiga 500 with the bits of the case hanging off. Let's see if we get some video out. Does this monitor work? Oh, nothing this time. Hmm. Let's check the uh, plugs in properly. Try again. Nothing. Hmm. That's weird. All I've done is take that piece of RAM out. That shouldn't uh, stop the computer. Okay, let's uh, check all our wires. Okay, gave the power cable a good wiggle and the light came on again. Let's try again. Oh, or do I need to turn the monitor on? Yeah, let's turn the monitor on. Get there eventually. Forgotten how much static noise CRTs make when you turn them off. It's kind of disconcerting. <gasps> Something happened. Wow, the flicker is real. I think it's warming up. Ooh, well, I mean, this A500 seems to work despite being a bit smashy. Let's try the A500 Plus. Okay, so I thought, well, before I put the 500 plus in, let's look in the bay and another expansion. Let's take it out to see what it is. Okay, so here's the other side. Now these chips seem to be the same size uh, as the other chips. Um, so in the 512k expansion, we had four of these 256 times four chips and here we've got eight so presumably this is one meg i guess uh, i'll find out when i get it to boot let's put it back together and uh, give it a try okay a500 plus just a uh, great condition this it's looking very nice bit of a clean it should be even better let's uh, check it works 
Okay, good. Light. Power light. Oh, I need to turn the monitor on. Got brave enough to press the power button now. I'm assuming this is going to have the ROM 2. Yeah, 2.0, there we go. Okay. So of the major items from this pack, I've just got the hard disk left. So uh, let's check out that hard disk. Okay, here we go with the hard disk. I think it's turned on on the hard disk. Let's uh, try turning the Amiga on. Wow, it's very hard disky. There's a loud hard disk. Boot, oh, it's booting, straight up. Now what this isn't doing is telling me how much RAM I have, which is a real pity because I would love to know. Because in theory the hard disk can have RAM in, as, as well as presumably the RAM expansion we have. So I think we should have 2 meg. Well, I seem to have 2 megs of each. So, not quite sure how that's working. Maybe this has had a motherboard mod, because if there's 2 megs in the trapdoor, then that must be the 2 megs of fast RAM that's showing here. So does that mean there's 2 megs of chip RAM on the motherboard? And is there no RAM in the Rocktech? Now there are some jumpers and things on the Rock Tech, so I'm going to check that and see if we've got more RAM somewhere. Let's have a look. Okay, so with the uh, jumpers changed, I now have no fast RAM. So I guess I've got one meg of chip RAM in the trapdoor, one meg of chip RAM on the motherboard, and two megs of fast RAM in here, presumably. So cool, that's all the major items that I got working and uh, lots of exciting new things to try out now uh, and a lot of disassembly and cleaning to do. One of the first things I need to do is check I don't have a leaky battery still on this motherboard because uh, that seems to be the number one killer of the A500 Plus. So uh, I'll catch you up on what I find in another video. Thanks for watching. Okay, so, dumb YouTube faces. Uh, this is a kind of spoiler for the next video that's going to be cracking stuff open, kind of uh, investigating the condition of it inside. Um, and spoiler alert, the A500 Plus did indeed have a very crusty battery inside, um, which had made a bit of a mess of the motherboard. Uh, not too bad, there's, there's certainly a lot worse and all I had to do is clean it and uh, obviously it works fine. Um, but yeah, dumb, dumb YouTube faces. So it's so just battery acid all over your motherboard and you open it up and you're like, yeah, battery acid. Um, well, it could be like, battery acid. Oh. <laughs> or, uh, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it's pretty gross. Kind of like, mm, no, don't like that. Bad, sad face. Um, I well, you know, I'm not really a pro at this, so perhaps that's enough dumb faces. I'll uh, I'll have a look through them, um, see if I want to use it. But I think this is actually appropriate because I definitely went back and watched that video, saw the battery, and was like, you know. Bad. <laughs> we'll see how it goes.